Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to more Death Road to Canada. This is going to be our second attempt getting to Canada. And uh, the first one didn't turn out too, too well. I mean, it had some good moments and stuff. The only reason I say it didn't turn out too, too well is because we didn't make it to Canada. I think we made it... Did we make it about halfway? I can't remember if we made it about halfway or not, but... Nonetheless, leader. We're going to be a leader. Buddy, let's take Q's and Q with us this time. So he's a uh, athletic perk, and he also has the charming trait as well. So, game mode, familiar characters. I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and start this. How many days does it take to Canada? We'll check it as soon as we start. Because I know we only had like nine days left or something like that. Fifteen days. So we're about almost halfway that's demoralizing but <laughs> let's jump right into it so let's hit the road not gonna read that that's the same thing every time the hell that kind of looked really abrupt it's a rest stop the group finds a rest stop along the road it looks very quiet from the outside mild sluggish afternoon we're gonna visit the rest stop never usually have problems with visiting the rest stop so we should be good let's check out his stats real quick same Almost the same layout as us. Q's and Q is going to make it to Canada this time. Simon Ninja doesn't smell bad, which is rare in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Alright. Enough uh, playing around. Let's get into this. Hopefully I remember the buttons. X, A is my B. Yeah. I think I remember them all now. Got some food. Food's like the main thing you want to stockpile at all times. Um, it's usually, if anything, it's usually the food you run out of. Holy shit, there's lots of zombies in here. I'm gonna try to round these zombies up, and I'm taking that. So this food. There's more food over there, and there's a cricket bat that I do want as well. What the hell? They definitely must, uh... They definitely updated this. Huh. I did not know that. I feel like I'm lagging a little bit where I really shouldn't. I think that was everything for this room. Yeah, they definitely updated this because uh, that menu never used to be there. I like it being on the neutral though. I don't want them getting all in into the killing there. I think I gave... Uh, I'll keep the cane and I'll give him that too. Just so I have enough room to take anything else to. I have one extra slot. In case we find something else. Nothing in here. Alright, Zinc, let's go. I think that was the rest stop. That was a pretty successful rest stop. We found a gun, at least. But you never know when you can use that, so... Let's get out of here. Seven food, one fuel. I don't even remember finding the fuel. And we found uh, 45, bleh, 45 bullets plus a pistol, obviously, so fix my controller here more relaxable position relaxable that's not even a word come on anyways we killed 13 zombies between the two of us probably zinc probably killed a lot more than i did but that's all right the campground that the ground or the campground that the group sets up smells terrible the source of the smell is a complete mystery try to endure the smell the group endures the smell zone all night until passing out they're not happy in the morning but they were at least able to sleep Morale decreases, but we're not tired at least, so hey. The group, lo uh, the group loots a dentist's office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technical edible tubes of toothpaste. Q's and Q goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their spare uh, selection. So what kind of magazine did he find? Glurge for the sensitive soul, questionable science, or celeb news? I think he found Glurge for the sensitive soul. That's what he found. 
Q-Zen Q uh, realizes that this magazine has always been corny, but still enjoys the optimistic stories. One story is about a cat that saves its owner from uh, choking at a buffet. Inspirational. Gains morale and gets we get food and medical supplies, which is good. Always use food. This cat food doesn't taste that bad. I don't know about that. The goop spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual. Uh, but it's early in the day, so they should be uh, groggy, at least at first. When driving into the city, the group spots something. We either spot an apartment with bark banner or a bar. Let's check that apartment. I'm going to carry the pistol just in case. I think I'm good with that. Hopefully you don't hear the buttons. I have my controller behind the the mic, so you shouldn't. But it's just uh, more comfortable than uh, having it on my lap. Like arms close together and shit. Medical supplies, gas. It's a good thing he got that, cause I fucking missed that terribly. Nothing in there. There's something in here. Shotgun uh, shells and some assault rifle bullets. Well, we can use all that if we ever do get a weapon. I think the only thing you've seen me have on cam is a pistol. I remember finding a shotgun at one point, but uh, I didn't last long with it. Molotov. Sure, why not? We'll give that to him. What the hell kind of room is that? We fucking opened a closet and there's a zombie right there. Medical supplies. I, I have a feeling that this run we're going to be loaded on food. I don't know why I stuttered on the eye there, but... Like, look at that. We've already found six food. I mean, that's n not a whole lot, but still. Jesus. Got more pistol ammo, which is good. Does he pick up shit, too? Because I didn't give him that friggin... I didn't give him that, but... I think it's good for that. For now. Keep uh, checking on. I don't think there's anything on that side. Totally messed with that. All these houses seem to be blocked off. There's the uh, apartment building right there. It's still pretty early in the morning, so we still should be good. Give that zombie a nice hit. There's a dog there. Hey, come here. Come here, boy. The dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. Let the dog follow us. Harrison starts following Cyber Ninja. He could be useful if you can get him out of here alive, or a handy distraction if you can. Seems like we found a dog. Uh, nah. I kind of want to have these, uh... Um, the Molotovs, just in case we have to do, like, a, a survival thing. Holy shit, the dog hits hard. Where's Zinc, by the way? He's stuck on a chair. There we go. And did his weapon break? His weapon broke. Well, if I spy something, I'll switch him out and give him a weapon. Didn't mean to break that. Nothing there anyways. I was gonna try to pick up that pop can, but I guess I can't. Take the nail on the board there. Anything in there? Shotgun ammo. We found a lot so far, holy fuck. Still only 10 in the morning. I should be able to loot this building and get out safely. There's Zank right there. I've already found like a crap ton of food and a dog too, but the thing is obviously that's another mouth to feed So I gotta be uh, Obviously aware of that. There's a broom in there another little cupboard. They definitely updated this. I don't remember it updating, but oh well. It's always nice to see games keeping on like being worked on and whatnot being updated and whatnot, so Let's get back to the car. I think we're done here. I don't think there's anywhere else to loot and if there is oh well 
We'll pass it on by for now. Let's get out of here. We found 13 food, 8 gas, 5 medical, 54 pistol. I think we already had that. Uh, 20 assault rifle, 9 shotgun, and we killed 29 zombies collectively. Harrison catches up with the group at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Uh, let's recruit him then. The group accepts Harrison to the team. Harrison joins the team. Onward to Canada. Aw, oh, the dog, he's not in a good mood. It's nice having the whole road to yourself. Yeah, for sure, eh? The group sets up camp for the night after being uh, sure that there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work and the sleepless night, but every bit could help. We got a fair bit of food, so let's just sleep. Uh, the group really doesn't want to pick berries for eight hours. The group eats a decent meal when they wake up. And yeah, we have 20 food right now, so zombies have an awful lot of trouble with closed doors. That's true. Q's and Q meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled up bodybuilder. That was too swole to control, uh, ripping zombies in half after bench pressing them. Q's and Q convinces the woman to give more details. She instead provides some great ex exercise tips. So Q's and Q morals increase and his strength increases. Strength is revealed to be bad, but eh, sorry. Can any human truly be too swole? Too swole to control? Baby, woo! That was the dog saying that too. And that was the woo was loud, holy shit. Outside of Canada, most society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with reserved food being the new currency. 20 food. Let's visit the trader camp, because a bunch of us can, uh... A bunch of us, uh, have charm, so... Let's see what everyone has to say. The group finds a man claiming to be a traveling, uh, menacing salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. I think we're okay. What about you? The group runs into someone selling extra rifle ammo. She says she's frugal with ammo, often killing multiple zombies in one shot. This person. Uh, the group meets a man who is carrying many swords. Uh, they clank around as he moves. One day, I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords first. I'll sell you some I found. 20 food? Nah. I have plenty of weapons anyways. Well, we don't really have any wounds or shit, so I should be okay. Canada, you speak of. Last poor Lisa, I know her cyber ninja. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, they didn't have anything here that could actually benefit us, that benefit us, so we're just gonna go ahead and go. Still have 13 days till Canada. I want to get a move on. Throwing furniture at zombies seem pretty effective. Whoa, it's Hockey Bell. It's nice to see a familiar face. She was found trying to pull open a door that said push on it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So it has a charming trait and a perk is surgeon. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit them. Group accepts, ho uh, accepts Hockey Bell to the team. Wits revealed, attitude revealed. We're going onward to Canada. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. We have to last 0.7 hours. Hmm. Interesting. I'm fine with that. I think that's cool. Alright. I wonder what Harrison. Harrison a dog. Dogs used to be pets, now most are feral. What'd that say? Clumsy dog. Wonderful. Alright. Oh, fuck, I don't like the looks of this at all. I should have traded this out. This thing has the slowest fucking, uh... I don't know what you would call it. Um... That was a shitty throw. Has the slowest uh, recharge time, I guess you could say.
I'm gonna use my pistol for a bit. Let's get out of here. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yeah, yeah. I ain't staying there. So we found one food. I used up like five shots, I think. Maybe six. I think it was six. That went pretty good. Woof, woof. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Moral and random skill, fitness, strength, or full heal for Harrison. Let's get morale and random skill gain. Cyber Ninja, moral, 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 moral. Uh, our mechanical goes up, Zinc's fitness goes up, Harrison's mechanical goes up, and uh, Bell's shooting increases. Right on. I hope it doesn't rain. It seems to irritate the zombies. That's good to know. Uh, the group sets up camp late on the nearby highway. Uh, wait, sorry. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Yeah, we should, eh? Um. Sudden uh, Bell out to siphon out some gas. Bell siphons the gas but accidentally <laughs> swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. We get plus 60 gas, his moral goes down a little bit, and we eat a decent meal. We definitely need to find some food. I'm using eight food per day, so. The group spots a junkyard full of garbage and uh, old wrecks. Zombies roam around uh, around the trash for reasons you can't spot from here. Drive to another location, that's pretty shitty. Commercial district, a short distance away, some ships are visible that seem worth checking out. Oh, shops. The, let's go ahead and check out the shops for sure. You two can rest. Um, I believe he started with the... Uh, I think he did anyways. Definitely don't need that. Oops. I definitely don't want that. So it's going to be me uh, and Zinc going in. And I'm going to try to have an open inventory for this. Most of these shops are blocked off. The hell is this? 10 in the morning as well. Something back here. It's obviously something back here. We didn't just stop here for nothing. Kinda looks like we did. There's another street though. So let's go ahead and check out that other street. Shit. Hopefully there's something. Come on, Zinc. There we go. Sports and jorts. Okay, then. Get out the way. Go figure there's nothing here, though. Aluminum bat. Why can't I? I think he's not close enough. That's what it is. There we go. So maybe they have to be, like, right beside you for you to trade or some crap like that. Well, we found some weapons. I was hoping for food. I'm not done yet, though. Gun saw. Mm. Quickly dip in here. It's not even the right ammo, I don't think. Now, other ones are shotgun, too. Oh, no, these are pistol. Okay, then. Those seem more like shotgun ones, and the other ones seem like a uh, assault rifle, but apparently those are shotgun, and the other ones are pistol, so. Ernie's hardware. I don't think there's going to be food in here, but let's take a quick look around, because we might find some gas. Crap ton of weapons, too, but... Shit. Come on, Zinc. Two by fours. Yeah, that was it. Alright, let's get to that car and get the hell out of here. I forgot I have another weapon too, shit. I was hoping to hit B and just change my gun, but... Of course it didn't work out like that. Well, unfortunately I didn't find any food, but we did find more gas, so...
There we go. Engine must be going out on the thing. 46 gas, 17 shotgun, end up with 71 at the end there. 26 zombies destroyed. Yeah, the engine's dying out on this car. We still got 12 days too. Bark, bark. There's a large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure to. In, bleh, the group isn't sure if they could get through them or not. With our luck, we'd try to plow through and the engine brake, so let's take a detour. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Uh, Belle finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. What's with these guys in magazines? Fuck. Cat video pictures. Giant farts monthly. Turnkey and good to go. Definitely grab that one. His moral increased. Well, as long as his moral increased, I guess. Zero dying. It's nice to see a familiar face. Unfortunately, zero. We don't have any. I don't have any room. I'm gonna have to leave you behind this time. Next time, though, buddy. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group eats a decent meal. So I have 11 days. Harrison punches the car. Yeah, that will help. Well, we tried, but we have absolutely no mechanical skill, so... And we lose four food. Bunch of our moral decreases, and now we're on foot. Group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem. If they had, if the group had a car, it wasn't tired from walking all day. The bandits nervously, nervously demand all your supply, all your extra gas, and half your ammo, and medical supplies. Well, we all got hurt, but we managed to keep our stuff. Holy fuck. After a hard day of looking for a car, the group finds a camping spot. During the night, they are attacked by ants and must leave without sleep. So we all get injured again. We lost our last food. Jesus Christ. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car standing alongside a country road. It's in the great shape, but the keys are missing. Cabins visible to the north. Alright. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to go in by myself. Give me the bat. Yep. Alright. I'll let everyone else rest up and we're gonna go in here. We gotta find the keys and get out. That's my main priority. You gotta be kidding me, right? Pretty sure that's the cabin. I'm pretty sure that tree is blocking the uh, the door. Like not literally blocking, but you know what I mean. Like I can't see the door opening. It's definitely right here though. Fuck. That didn't go how it was supposed to go. <laughs> After a long hike, the group finds a nice clean, uh, clearing to set up camp. The weather is nice and the group is able to rest peacefully. The group finds that there is no food left at all. Spare creeps in. <laughs> Belle is walking along the road when she is suddenly ma mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats... blah 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 blah. I'm surprised we're not dead yet. Well, let's look for a good car, I guess. We lost my gun, too. Definitely not good. I know sometimes some of these uh, vehicles you can scavenge something from, so... I'm gonna just stick by and see if they have anything. This one right here below me does. In all honesty, that was totally, bleh, totally my fault. Should have paid more attention. I thought I was...